Welcome back everyone, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video, we'll write our first application in Hyperledger Fabric. Now when I say we'll write our first application, the thing is, uh, when we work with Hyperledger Fabric, they will give you some samples to work with. In fact, in the last video, we have talked about how to build your first network. And then we did that with Fabric Samples. Uh, if you remember, we went to this folder, Fabric Samples, and in that we were able to run our first network. Uh, so the command was bifnsh and then we were able to generate uh, the network then we were able to up the network and then at the end we make we made sure that it is down in fact uh, to run in fact to write your first application we'll also do that first uh, so make sure that you uh, make sure that you down your network before going ahead uh, so we can we can type that and we can make sure that it is down and it is happening so yeah it deleted all the existing images so you can see that everything is deleted now now if you go back so how do we how do we run our application so for that basically we have to uh, use one of the sample folder called fabcard so if you remember when we go to fabric samples we have a folder here called fabcard and if you go inside you can see we have uh, we have java folders we have javascript folders we have javascript low level typescript and they based on the which version you are working with it, it might change uh, so we'll be working with Fabcard. So basically, Fabcard is a is a module where they have uh, they have they have a network in which you can have cars list listing of cars. Uh, we can have the who is the owner. We can have who which model of car you are using. So that will be stored on a blockchain network, basically a hyperledger network. And of course, you can change the data. So one thing we have talked about blockchain, we have uh, if we talk about ledger, we have two different types, right? We have uh, we have the world state and then we also have a transaction log. So of course we can change the data in the world state and that's what we're going to do. Uh, so first we'll write, we'll try to run this application and then we'll understand what the actual code is. Now in this video, I'll be focusing on Java language. Of course you can try out on JavaScript as well. In fact, one of the best places you can read about this documentation and you can uh, try it out is the official documentation of, of Hyperledger Fabric. So they have this article called writing your first application and we'll be using the same one here. Uh, so before going ahead, this is one thing you have to remember. In fact, we have talked about this in the theory as well. Uh, so you have an application which is able to interact with the blockchain network, but of course it will be external to the blockchain network. So that's your application here. And in the network, you'll be having a smart contract which is installed on all the nodes. And of course, you'll be also having a ledger. So the only way an application will be able to interact with a ledger is through a smart contract. Okay, so that's, that is one thing. Uh, so we have to, basically we have to build a network now. And then we have done with this step. So we have to make sure before going ahead. So if you're moving back from first network to the Fabcard folder, before doing that, you have to down your network. And then you have to also make sure because maybe if, if you are doing this for the first time, then you can simply skip these steps. But then I'm using this on my machine for the second time. So what I will do is I will remove all the, so let me remove all the Docker images here. And for that, you can just copy this command, go back to your, go back to your terminal. And of course we have to move to Fabcard before doing that. In fact, yeah, we can actually run this here. Uh, let's enter the Docker command and it says there's no, there's no image available. Of course, if, if you're doing this for the first time, it will, it will say that there's no image available. But what if you run this entire example and then you're doing it, then it will remove the existing one. Uh, so let me just remove this one as well. As I mentioned before, we don't have any images available. That's why I'm just giving you warning, but that's fine. There is no issue. Let's go it out. And now it's time to move to our folder, which is Fabcard. Now where you will find it. So if you say LL, you can see we have a listing of folders here. This is a folder we want to work with the Fabcard folder. And for that, I will just simply clear it out. So before doing that, let me just verify if everything is good. Yeah. So that you can see we have all the folders and this is a very important script we have. Now, if you try to open this script, uh, so you can see this script based on which language you choose by default. Uh, if you don't choose any language, I guess it will go for Go. Uh, but of course, you can also change the language. Uh, you can go with Java, you can go with JavaScript, or maybe it goes with JavaScript, it doesn't matter. So you can just simply run this network. And of course, it will down this network by itself, but you know, let's, we have done that, right? So it will also try, but then it has no use. Uh, 
so this is the num this is the steps it will follow so it will generate a network for you it will create a network for you it will create organizations it will add org all the organization to the network and members to a network okay members will be added later uh, but it will create a network for you and then it will give you option to go forward with different languages so it will give you option with javascript it will give you option with typescript and of course java and we will be doing that in java so of course we can do it now go back to your terminal and let's run this script so to run this script i will say dot slash start oh what's that oh first you have to move to fabcard and then we'll uh, let's run this script which is start fabric dot sh and we'll say enter so it will take some time to do all the setup and so let me just pause the video for the time so you can see it is building our first network and the same the same steps which we have done earlier so it will create organization it will create peers which will add it to the the my channel network we have or the channel we have and then it will so it will create the smart contract and then it will try to add your smart contract to the uh, to, to the channel and that is a bit time consuming so you can see that's done so it is it is uh, able to generate a network so you can see everything is set uh, so it says use for application to interact with the contract so we'll do that and of course as i mentioned you have multiple language available here so if you're going for javascript these are the steps you have to follow now basically what exactly it will do in the application so what it means to interact with a net, interact with a smart contract so understand this whenever you want to work with the ledger the only way to interact with the ledger is through a smart contract right so how do you talk to a smart contract so of course they have given you the smart contract you just have to call uh, the functions or the procedures uh, so basically if you're using javascript you have to install all the packages required packages and then uh, of course uh, the smart contract needs an admin because admin will be responsible to generate users or register the users uh, so of course we need to enroll the admin and then we have to register the user and then we have to invoke the application we have to fetch all the cars available so of course we, we are talking about fab car application which has a lot of cars in it uh, so we'll fetch all the cars and then uh, we can change the data if you want but then we'll be doing that in java right in fact before doing that let me also show the steps what it does in javascript if you're doing it in javascript uh, by the way you can also mention the language here uh, so if you want to work with javascript you can do that if you want to work with java you can do that uh, so if you are working with JavaScript, it will give you all these files in the JavaScript folder. Uh, so they are responsible to enroll the admin. They are responsible to. Uh, so this will be used for the package, uh, the installations, the dependencies, and you can register the user, and this goes on. It also create a wallet for you where you can have all the information about the admins, the users, and what cars are owned by the owned by the user, something like that. Okay, so these are the steps that follow and we'll enroll the admin and then blah, blah, blah. There's some steps available. One thing we have to do is we, when we, so these are the smart contracts available. So you can see we have a create card. You can query all the cars. Uh, then you can change, you can update the color, car color. You can update the owner. And that's what we want to do. We want to update the owner or we'll maybe we'll update a card itself. <laughs> Let's see what options we have there in the code. Uh, okay uh, so this is what we're going to do in java now but the amazing thing is in java you don't have to do all these steps they have written the script written an application for you and it will do it do the steps for you so let's do that uh, so let's do that in java so for, of course we have to move to java folder and then we'll run this code we'll test this code and the way you can do that we'll be using a maven here so i will say mvn and we'll say test so it will do the steps for you it will enroll the admin it will enroll the user and then it will import them to the wallet. Uh, it will submit a transaction for a new car. And you can also update the details. So let me just do that. So I will say MVN test. Don't worry, you will also see the code of this. So you can see it says successfully enrolled the user admin. And it will also enroll the user user one. And we have all the cars available. So you can see just, just to give you a quick go through here. Uh, we have a key so basically this is a JSON file for you this is a key and this is the info so this is a key which is car 0 and then this is a record of the car so that's your first car so color is blue uh, manufactured by Toyota and then model is this owner is this then we have a second car this is car 1 as a key 
and that, that's the color and this all this information the code which we are going to do is we will be adding a new owner okay we will be adding a new card basically so you can see the last card is card 9 we will be adding a card 10 this is the card which we are going to add in fact they have written a code for this and this is like this is executing so this is a new car and then of course you can change the owner right of course when you buy when you want to sell your car someone will buy it and then you can change the owner the car will remain same what will change is the owner and you know some people do assume that in blockchain you can't change data that's not that's not the thing you can change the data it's just that whatever changes you make will be there in the blockchain you can't you can't remove those changes right you can't delete those changes and that's why we call them as the transaction log okay so it, it says test is run successfully and then everything is there it's time to see the code now uh, where you will find the code so you can see we have a java folder here in which you have src and this is your wallet information where you have admin and user one so if you go to src when you go to main java organization example these are the files you have but how do we how will you open these files of course we can use any ide or you can use use, use notepad as well that's your choice. I will be using IntelliJ here. You can prefer any ID you want. You can use any uh, editor you want. So I will be using IntelliJ Community Edition and let me open this project. So I'll click on open. Let me navigate to the folder and I'll be selecting Fab card here in which you have Java. Click on OK. It will open the project. So that's your project here. Uh, so it will take some time to load okay so that's your java folder in which you have a source code we have main we have java and that's your package let me expand that and you have this four three files so let's open the client app and you can see here we have a main method so basically it will ask you for the path for the wallet we have mentioned that in fact okay so the code is available so we have we have that there it will create a user of course you can follow all these steps here and it is straightforward right we don't even need documentation for this if you can read uh, the class names and method names properly and that's why coding conventions are so important in java uh, okay so it will create the network which is my channel which is a channel for you and then that's your smart contract which is fabcar so what we'll do is we'll query all the cars first because of course in the wallet we have existing cars available with the, nine, the 10 cars which you have seen and now we are creating a new card which is card 10 so basically this is a smart contract create card if you remember in the in this we have seen this smart contract which is create card so we are creating a card which is this information and it is owned by mary but then i want to change the data so of course you have to first execute that so that it will be there in the uh, in the ledger and then if you want to change the card owner that's the method or that's the smart contract you have to use and we are changing so this is a key which is card 10 and we are changing the owner to archie and that's that so once you change the owner you will get a new owner so when you see the world state now the current ledger it will show you the owner of card 10 is archie not mary but then what if you want to see who was the owner earlier and that's where we have transaction logs okay uh, and then you can also run this code in this uh, IntelliJ as well, so you can see run. It should work. Why not? Um, so, so you can see we got all the cars here, and then that's the new card which you have added, and then you got a new owner, right? So simple. And if you try to explore this enroll admin, so this is another another uh, Java file we have in which you have to enroll the uh, admin, which will get stored in the uh, in the wallet. And of course, if you already have an admin, it will not do, this, do it second time, of course. Uh, and then we have register user in which you have, uh, when you, in which you can register the user. Of course, we'll be writing some more, more examples in future, but those codes will be written by, written from scratch. Uh, okay, uh, so we'll understand all the other steps involved in step-by-step -step manner. But then this is how you write your first application. This is how you start building your application in Hyperledger Fabric. And of course, you can change, you can make changes here. So maybe you don't want, maybe you want to get a new card. You can do that. You can submit a transaction for that. Uh, maybe you can change the color of a card. Do we have an option? Yeah, so we have update card color. You can also, you can also add a code and you can change the card color and the current state, the world state will show uh, the, the, the new color. But then of course you can verify that in the transition log. 
So yeah, that's about your first application. And of course you can write in different language like JavaScript or TypeScript, that's your, that's your try. Uh, so let me know uh, which language you preferred on your machine, maybe JavaScript or TypeScript and how it went. So well, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and we'll be writing some more examples in the upcoming videos. So make sure that you stay tuned and do subscribe and like this video. Bye-bye.